If you are considering taking magnesium, this is a must see video. I would say don't take it until you know this. Or if you are frustrated with your magnesium and you're not seeing the results you thought you would or were promised, this might be the reason. Two really big key points and big factors to know so you don't waste your money on magnesium. So this is my stop taking magnesium until you understand these things video. So let me break this thing down. So this study that I wanna show you here is gonna show how you can increase the absorption of of magnesium that you're taking 68%. I think if this is missing in your magnesium supplement, it's not worth taking because it ends up in the toilet. So let's break this key down and show you exactly what that is and then show you the other primary reason why magnesium might not be working for you or you may not wanna take it in the first place. Let's break down the types of magnesium first, okay? There are about 11 types of primary magnesium that could be taken for human consumption. Three of those are gonna be more like Epsom salts. You probably don't wanna be eating that or some food additives that are not really supplemental types. The other one is magnesium alphernate. It's crazy expensive. And honestly, the company that makes it has it pretty much locked down and they could completely control how much they'll allow you to put into a supplement. I didn't enjoy working with them. So because of its crazy expense, it wasn't worth it, even though it is the one that crosses the blood brain barrier. Research shows that several forms of magnesium cross the blood brain barrier. So I set that one aside. So we're down to seven and there's seven main types of magnesium, but they all have different ways of helping you in a cost effective way, but they all do different things in the body. So let me show you what those are. And then we're gonna go through how to get them in to the system better. First one is magnesium oxide, very cost effective. It's known for its relief of headaches, blood pressure, mood, and can even aid in the digestive tract. So that's a good one if you're suffering with those kind of issues, that form, that attacher of a magnesium is gonna get the magnesium to the right place to help with those types of conditions. The second one is magnesium citrate, very good for mood. The primary one for digestion. If you take too much of it, you might actually speed up or have loose bowels, but it's very absorptive, right? And I like to do this in a chelated form, but citrate's a good one for the digestive tract help to kind of move things along if you're constipated. Magnesium aspartate is the next one, and that's really good for you know your athletes or those that are active, muscle recovery, energy, and muscle creation. That form of magnesium really supports those things in the body. Magnesium glycinate in its chelated form is gonna really help with rest and recovery. It's a great one to be taken at night. It's gonna help aid sleep. It's gonna help lower inflammation. Magnesium malate, it's another good one for pain relief. If you're hurting or achy, especially in your muscles, you might be missing that one. Magnesium taurinate, this is a good one in the weight loss category. It really helps to support blood pressure and blood sugar levels. And so it's really good for losing that weight, but also supporting those key organs. Finally, in a magnesium amino acid chelate, attaching it to an amino acid not only gets good amino acids for building muscle inside of your body, but it is a really effective way to get it absorbed in a food form magnesium so you can maximally use it. The absorption rate, but the usage rate on that amino acid is much higher than typical magnesium. So now you know the main seven types and some of their uses. So you may be leaning towards one or the other, but one of the primary first reasons, before I get to what increases it by 68%, the primary first reasons that a lot of people aren't getting effective results with their magnesium is because they're focused on only taking one of those main seven. And so the one helps to get some magnesium in the body, but you still remain at a deficient level because you haven't topped up all the different places. Magnesium needs to go for all of its different jobs because you don't have the right vehicle to get the magnesium to the right parts of the body. And if we just focus on one singular vehicle, yes, you can ship in a lot of one source of magnesium, but it doesn't solve the overall systemic issue of deficiency. That's why I suggest to only take magnesium in the form of multi magnesium. So you get multiple forms, all seven is ideal. That's the way I formulate it and make it. Um, just because of this research of I know how important it is in many areas. And if this nutrient is deficient in 90% of people, we need to top it up, not just in one area, even though that might be your most problematic and it still can be beneficial, but in all seven of the areas to help all of the activity of those 600 different reactions that magnesium is involved with in the body. So mistake number one is only focusing on one source. 
as opposed to getting a broad source of all seven of them. Now, it's not how much you take, it's how much you absorb. 68% increase absorption rate. How do you do that? And you might be taking magnesium right now and it's just ending up in the toilet. So how do we prevent that waste of money and that waste of supplementation from happening? Well, the key was this study right here. So in this study, they showed that inulin or oligofructose FOS increased and had a huge impact on the absorption of minerals, specifically magnesium inside of the body. And they found the best form in chicory root, which is high in inulin and oligofructose, but it doesn't spike insulin levels. A lot of it gets digested, just pushed right through the system, helped absorb magnesium 68 percent more than taking magnesium by itself or even just taking it with just inulin. So primary clean healthy source of chicory roots, a great prebiotic, increases magnesium absorption 68%. So I share all of this because I, I went in to create a form of magnesium. I was cognizant to have seven very clean chelated forms, also to add these components of inulin and OF into it in the form of chicory root to make one. You can get information on that below, but I wanted to make this video to make you aware and to educate you that you are taking magnesium and you're maybe not seeing the effect you thought. Do you need to expand to the other six forms included with the singular form you're taking? And then number two, maybe you're not absorbing it. So we need to add in this inulin or OF in the form of chicory root in order to get that absorbed. So check out more information below. The research that I had is below. The link to what I created, how I formulated the one is below. Interesting. Magnesium is incredibly, incredibly important. It might be one of the most important nutrients you should take, but take it the right way and don't waste your money. Stop taking it in the wrong way. Get it absorbed and get it absorbed in multiple forms and you'll get the most benefit out of it. Check out the resources below and this next video on food sources of magnesium as well.